guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell, different setup. I have a card table in front of me and not uh, a white background. And also, I am a bit more energetic. Uh, I was looking at some of my other card reviews and I realized that they were very bland, boring, and redundant. So I wanted to just basically get a bit more energy into my videos, pep it up a bit, and uh, make it a bit more entertaining for you, the viewer, to watch. So let's get into the deck. So. Uh, this deck that I have today, this is a special video. This is a vintage 1970s United Airlines deck. This deck was produced in the mid-1970s for, um, they would give them out on flights. And a friend lent them to me. Uh, they're really cool and vintage. So, as you can see, the front here, um, pretty basic. Just says United Airlines on the front. Not much on the sides or on the top. On the bottom... Nothing much either, and on the back, same as the front. So, I did some research into these, and they were manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company. So, you're going to be getting some pretty decent cards. And, um, these are a bit older, but I will shuffle them just to see how they handle. So, they handle okay. They are a little, uh... There's a bit of friction when you try to shuffle. Like, it feels kind of sticky, but... Just a plastic coating on it. Probably because it's a bit older as well. They're not that stiff. And uh, the pips are pretty standard. Nothing special. But the Ace of Spades is uh, completely different. It looks really cool. I like that. So uh, this is what the Joker looks like. There's some writing on it though. But still, you can get an idea. Uh, this is basically what it looks like. Okay, so as well with this deck, all of the cards are custom. Like, the face cards are really uh, different than what you would expect for a standard face card. So this is what the Jack of Hearts looks like. Um, they're all different in some way. They all have different variations done on them. I like them. They do look really cool. Uh, I like them a lot. But one thing I'm noticing is that these cards are a little bit more narrow than your standard deck of playing cards. And uh, another thing I noticed is that for some reason the box is the same exact size as a normal playing card box. I mean, there's like a five millimeter gap there. But still, overall I think these are really cool. Uh, I can tell that these have handled very nicely uh, down through the decades that have passed. So these have held up really good. These are really nice. I think they look really cool, and that's what I think about this deck. 